WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this 8th day of September, Wednesday, and we're looking at the Dow. This is the Tiger Financial News Network, 10 a.m. market update. We're looking at the Dow, 35,139, up 43, oh, now it's 144, up 44 points. Having arched over, I do ever see a chance here that that nine could finally go under the 14 period exponential moving average. As we arch over in the pattern that I call the dreaded H, I'll talk about that when I do my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, in a few minutes. But there should be some kind of a bounce. I had a Chapman Wave reading yesterday of a very low trend gauge, and that suggested that the Dow should go negative before it starts to go positive. It's exactly what it's done. Um, some, some nice buying coming in here. We're looking at the S&P, and we've got the S&P at this particular point still down just a fraction, down 18 cents at 45.19. We're looking, I, I'm still going to call this a peak C, a G slash C. Uh, we'll talk about that in, in my show. In the meantime, it's holding quite nicely. In this particular case, the nine period moving average is well above the 14 period moving average. That's a good sign. Still a leg D in the weekly chart. Hey, we're going to go to the QQQ, index 100. Trading down 98 cents at 381.14. This is interesting because the SMHs, semiconductors, are down three and a half points uh, at 269. We're watching these two things very closely together with the XLK, which is the SP Select uh, Spider Fund. Uh, down 54 cents at 158.85. All of them are really close to all-time highs, taking a little digestive action right here. So we're going to be following that closely. Let's go to the IWM, which is the Russell 2000. IWM is trading <clears throat> down 52 cents at 225.85. This is quite a sharp pullback, but the, the week is young. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Hey, the TLT, this is going to be important. The TLT dropped sharply, and now it's trying to come back. It's up 54 cents at 147.49. Here in the 147s, it means yields are actually pushing higher. So this week in yields is going to be very important. I just want to show you gold. Gold took a bit of a dive yesterday, um, more than a bit of a dive. And today it's down 10 points at 17.88. And what I said to subscribe to my opening call is watch Bitcoin. It made a, P, a leg D yesterday. Is it going to make a peak D? There again, we'll talk about that in the Tiger Technician Tower coming up. Moments time. Hope you can stay. Otherwise, tomorrow, pick up open all day.